Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Please be joined by Jake Stevens of Chelsea Boys Basketball. How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing well. So, um, uh, well, uh, just to kind of, I know it's been a pretty busy off season for you. Um, so, you know, I know the, uh, the season's just, uh, we are in November. So I know that, uh, you know, trials are just beginning and, you know, preseason stuff's just, uh, just kind of talk about how this, uh, how this, um, what, what it's, what summer's been like and all that. Cause uh, it's been sure. Pretty- We've had, I mean, we had a good summer. Uh, we we were lifting, running four days a week, Monday through Thursday. Uh, we went to a lot of team camps. We went, played a lot of league games in the summer and stuff like that, just to keep playing and keep the guys together. Um, a lot of open gyms. Um, we've had open gyms pretty much every week since the start of school. Uh, we have a trainer, Evan Brown. He sits on the bench in our games, our assistant coach. Uh, he's like a personal trainer, so he we do four-man workouts with him. Um, and you'll see some JV guy, freshman guys. There's usually 15, 10, 15 guys in the gym every night. Uh, and we just – it's just nice to see everybody in there just wanting to get better. So we've we've had a pretty good off season. We uh, we were playing in a fall league in Dearborn, um, but we struggled to get guys because a, a lot of our guys play football. Um, so we played there, I think, once or twice. Um, but we, we, had a, we had a good off season. A lot of our guys – a lot of our guys have been in the gym working on their games. So um, it's been good. Yeah. So going into, you know, this, this, uh, this coming, this coming year, I know, um, uh, you know, last year was a, last year was a big year for you guys, you know, and honestly going in, not much is changing. Obviously the big right. change was, you know, a lot of new faces plus a new head coach, but now of course, sure. uh, you know, coach Cabana has been there. This is her second year. And then just uh, and of course uh, a lot of the supporting cast is back. Um, the really only one you lose is Matt, but um, yeah, but a lot of guys are there. But just kind of just talk about what um, how just excited that mostly everyone is returning. Yeah, I mean obviously Matt Bland's a huge piece of what we had last year. He, I think he had twenty five in our regional championship game at home. Uh, had some really big shots against the Cumsey. He pretty he led he he carried us through that game. Um, to get us to that quarterfinal. But, I mean, he was a very big impact for us. Um, we have his little brother, Drew, coming back. I think Drew's going to have a really big year. He's going to step it up. Um, just playing a bigger role. And he's – I've witnessed it firsthand. And he's been in the gym every day. Um, seems like every time I'm up there, he's up there, the other one comes. So, um, it's just – I think Drew's going to have a really big year. Um, that's the biggest thing I've seen. Um, just the work that he's been putting in. Um, then we have four starters coming back. So me, Drew, um, Reagan Plank, and um, Joey Cabana. Yep. Then um, I think our fifth spot's going to either be filled by Zach McIntosh, uh, who came off the bench for us last year, but played really big minutes uh, in the postseason. Then Hayden Long will be between those two, I think. Um, Hayden started for us last year, had some knee problems, uh, had some injuries, so he, he didn't play – a ton last year after the beginning of the season. Um, then we have a new a new kid, Nick. Uh, he was homeschooled. Um, he's a really good athlete. Uh, he can shoot it. He can pretty much do everything. He's pretty versatile. So he's he's been it's been good to see him grow uh, with us. And sophomores uh, Buck Allen and Beckett Booz. Uh, we'll see what they can do with the varsity minutes and maybe dabble a little bit with JV and varsity. But uh, we were we're pretty strong this year. I mean. We usually we played six or seven guys last year in the postseason, so hopefully we're a little bit deeper uh, to give some guys some rest. So, but we we got a lot coming back for us, so we're we're happy for that. Um, you know, your game. Uh, how have you kind of what what was some of the biggest things that you worked on uh, in the spring, in the summer, and, and this fall? What are some of the biggest things you're focusing on heading into your senior year? Uh, just by expanding my range a little bit more. Um, uh, I'm just teams are pushing me out more um just like off the catch like off a joey or drew drive so i gotta catch it a little bit deeper now and so just been in my range and um i worked on my handle a lot i just i've i've been told that one of my critiques on my game is my ball handling so i it was constructive criticism so i took it and i just went to the gym and worked on it um and i've just been working on finishing and 
mid range and all that stuff. So I've, I've really been working on my body too. Uh, I, I took lifting really serious this summer with our strength coach, uh, AT, um, they're in there four days a week, uh, and then conditioning and then just recovery, a lot of ice baths, uh, a lot of heating pads and stuff like that, just to make sure my body's good. So, um, I really just, I think I've grown pretty, pretty well this off season. Um, so, you know, obviously this is the, you know, this is your senior year. A lot of, you know, this program is, you know, meant a lot to you, of course, um, you know, with you and Joey and all those guys, what, what is just this, uh, you know, this team has, you know, been a part of and all that stuff. And just, uh, cause this team can do a, re- a lot of really good things. This mm-hmm. year. I just, I mean, coming off a regional championship for the first time in 23 years for our school, it means a lot. Um, we're not satisfied with that though. Like our, our motto last year was we want to get to the Breslin, but we don't want to just get there. We want to win it. We want to win there. Um, I think it's going to be the same message this year. We want to, we want to end our season. Sorry about that. We want to, um, we want to end our season winning. So we want to, we want to win the state championship. That's been a, that's been the goal since I started high school. I just feel like that was my main goal to start since I got into high school, just to win a state championship with my friends. So we have really high hopes. Um, but we, we know we can get there. We know we can do it. We know what has to be done. Yeah. Um, oh, and uh, you also uh, you also made uh, you also made some news this off season as well. Mm-hmm. I oh. uh, I committed to uh, the University of North Georgia. Um, Division two, part of the Peach Belt Conference. Uh, head coach Dan Evans. Um, I, I went, I've been, I talked to them since like April when they saw me in a tournament. Um, I finally got down there over Labor Day, uh, um, had a really good official visit with them. I was there for two nights. I got to stay with some, um, some of the guys. Uh, I just, I've heard through this recruiting process that it's once, you know, it's home, it's home. So like you, you'll know when you'll know when you know. So, um, I just, I got back on that plane right at, from the Atlanta airport on the way home and I just. I just knew I, I knew that it was the the place to go, and I loved everything about it. So I'm I'm really looking forward to going there next fall. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's you know it's obviously a little far from home, but uh, what's um, what's it going to be like to 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 be all the way down in uh, all the way down in Georgia? I know you're. I know it's you're... definitely it's definitely going to be different. Um, I really like the the weather down there. It's a lot yeah. hotter than I, I don't. Not a big, not a big uh, bow guy. Um, it's gonna be tough. It'll, it'll be tough right away. About my parents and uh, my Chelsea friends and my friends around the area. It'll be, it'll be tough. But um, I know, I know what I'm getting into. Um, I'm ready for. It. I just, I'm ready to just go play college basketball and meet new people and just have my college experience. You know, this season, you know, for you, it, obviously, the goals is to you know, to win a state title, what, um, uh, you know, what, what, and of course, uh, you know, got to, you know, got to get, before you do that, you got to get through all these, uh, you know, really tough non-conference schedule, of course, yep. if you got league opponents as well. Um, you know, what, what are some of the things that you really, you know, the next few weeks, obviously the full team isn't put together yet. Um, you know, we still have to go through tryouts and all that stuff, but just, um, uh, you know, just really what, what are these next few weeks going to look like for you? Um, I think we start the 13th is the official date. Um, we can't really do anything for these, until, until the 13th. I think it's like a dead time or something. I, we're not allowed to do anything with our coaches. So um, we'll try and get in the gym as much as we can just on our own, just to get shots up or something, stay after school, uh, get the uh, keys from someone, maybe if a janitor is there to let us in. Um but guys are just going to be on their own right now. Then we'll start the 13th, um, start practicing. Hopefully the the plan is for the football guys to make a run. So some of those guys might trickle in late or come get shots up during the postseason. Um, but I think the biggest focus this year is going to be on our defense. Um, they let up 66 points in the quarterfinal last year against Summit. So um, if you take away – take away 10 of those points we win so um our 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 big focus this year is going to be defense and just keeping containing guys it's really it's really our biggest focus this year all right 
Jake Stevens, thanks so much for talking with us and uh, best of luck this season. We'll have you on again sometime. Thank you for having me.